parents and caregivers, we want the best thermometers when a loved one is sick. From traditional oral thermometers to speedy in-ear models, choices seem endless at times. Consumer Reports and consumer anchor Jeremy Jenkins gives us a look at the options. With little ones around, parents like Jenny Marie Weika know that having a reliable thermometer is essential for peace of mind. Having a thermometer that is fast and accurate helps me to decide whether or not they need to go to the doctor. Choosing the right one can be challenging, but Consumer Reports exclusive tests can help. Testers compare the devices to a mercury thermometer, then they take repeated readings to assess consistency. The results show which in-ear thermometers are the easiest to use and offer the most accurate readings. The 10 thermometers in our ratings take temperature via the ear, and half of them also can take temperature via the temporal artery, which means you place the thermometer against the forehead or the temple. 98.7. When choosing a thermometer, CR says accuracy and consistency are key. One thing to know about in-ear thermometers is that they require extra cleaning care. We found that earwax residue on the probe's surface can interfere with the infrared sensors, which can lead to inaccurate readings. Consider models that offer disposable plastic covers. Among the top models from Consumer Reports tests are the Braun Thermoscan 7 for about $60 and the Alcedo Digital Thermometer for about $25. Practice using your thermometer when your child is healthy and become familiar with how it works. That way you can feel confident and get an accurate reading when you need it the most. I feel better knowing I have a thermometer I can trust, especially when fever strikes in the middle of the night. An Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend taking kids' temperatures in the ear until they're at least six months old. For infants under three months, a rectal thermometer is best.